Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to part 9 of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4, Monday of Heaven, as the Ashikaga Shogunate in the last part. Well, uh, the pissed off of our vassals went away, and now we're starting to annex all of them. We've got three left, and we're going to do them all at once, and then we're going to be awesome. And then we're going to unite Japan, become Japan, and uh, probably declare war on one of the Chinese states, just because fuck China. No other reason, as far as I know, just, just fuck China. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough men to do it, but I'm going to have to try. Or at the very least, I'm just going to sit here and do fuck all and get some co maybe colonialism, just sod off over here. Yeah, into America, but... That's down, like, that's back here, so... Oh, fuck, my hair. Yeah, I want the temple then. God damn it. What the hell did I do to you, game? But, yeah, once these guys all reach uh, max relations, that's when we'll, um, uh, do the war. Well, uh, not the war, we'll, uh, integrate them all. And then we'll use, do Japan is United. And do you know what we'll even do? Incorporate Ishiki to into our country. Just because I can. Uh, I am, yeah, I'm the seventh great power. Ming is, well, if Ming, Ming it should be first, it's just the fact that they haven't like, got all the uh, things. They still have better tech than me, though, and more ideas. I have te I set one idea, they have 14 and decent tech. So, fuck them, basically. Because of the pricks. Yeah, we've stayed every part of Japan, good. I think Korea would probably not be the best place to invade, uh, well... Look at military. Holy fuck. I forgot they had changed. It's been so long since I clicked on this. Uh, and it even shows where we are now. Gold we now produce. Yep. Uh, fuck, I didn't mean to press down. There we go. Uh... Wow, the only people with pro pro uh, positive opinion, and there's not many of them. Okay, yep, yeah, Korea's at 23,000. I don't know how I didn't notice them. Hopefully when we unite Japan, we get a much bigger force limit, because if not, fuck me, basically. Alright, I need to get this back to about 100, and then we can annex all three of these guys at the same time, and it will not, it will not be a problem. 72, Diplo, 64, Diplo, and 56, so... Yeah, it looks like um, Akamatsu is going to be the last to go. And it's currently the most ready to be vassalized. Uh, no, we'll bribe the advisor to take the risk. Now I'll just get rid of the corruption. The scythe, of course, get that shit. I'm green, which is help, which helps because it means my uh, tech is good. But no one I really want. I want to declare war down here. I may no, even against you. I'd have to take the risk. I mean, we could take the risk to fight Brunei, which would put us at war with um, Sulu, which is here as well. So it means we can get Sulu and all these guys, our Brunei, but. Uh, that then doesn't lead me anywhere because I'd still need to colonize here to get down here. But then Malacca is still under China, so either way I would just be overextending myself. So I can't believe this, but I feel like we should build these. They cost 200 gold though. I don't want to spend that much money, if I'm honest. Right, um... Next month is when we start the annexation process. And we annex the last three parts of Ch Japan. We'll start with this biggest one. Oh. Well, then you two need to stop being at war so I can annex you. Also, on that, let's just go back to improving relations then until they're maxed. Won't take long in some cases, but still. Still best to make sure you max it out. Right, I need to build this navy correctly now. We already have more ships than we should do. Still wouldn't make me money, so it's cheap if you go like that. Hey, and I don't have to pay for my overextension uh, over over the limit 
of Navy. Yeah, I'm now under the limit by one, so that was good. We'll maintain all guys until you two decide to stop fucking being at war. Uh, we could decrease their isolationism. There we go. You guys are all... You guys are open doors as well, so I could make you change, but... Wait, what? I'm adaptive, not open. Okay, are you two finished your war note? Fair enough. Well, I'll just continue maxing the relations then until these idiots decide they want to not be at war anymore. You know what? i got a good way of doing this. Give these idiots a bit of extra money and they might just deal with them. You never know. Get some more temples done while I can. Okay, they're actually building another ship. Not what I gave them the money to do, but it'll be fine. And why the fuck am I still paying for you? Go back to not being paid for. But I kind of wish that I could, if I annex them, I dare him. I, before these two, I can't annex these two at all. And then I have to wait a few years. And I don't want to do that. Yeah, because it's already gone back up to 107. So I definitely don't want to do that again. So the Iki Iki could happen, the rising Shogun Authority will not happen, Spread of Christianity is not going to currently happen. So it looks like the Iko Wiki are the next uh, incident, if we're unlucky. No, my luck, now that I've mentioned it, we probably are. Uh, what's my, we're not ahead of uh, this yet, so we're going to wait for now. We will see what happens. I can't believe I'm more powerful than Burgundy in Poland. I don't think I believe that, but... Hey, that's what the game says. I really want to go to war with fucking Ming, but I know for a fact I will lose. Ming just... Just, just, just... just yeah, no, I don't want to fight Ming. Just, it's... I have to fight Ming, and then I have to fight whatever vassals they fucking end up having. Just, just, no. Just doesn't seem like something I would want. Are you, can you two stop fighting, please? I feel like this war's been going on for fucking ages. Oh, so they attacked the Mago, and they just they you can't take anything, but because they've got them blockaded. All oh, right, I was trying to. Okay, that's not good. I gave the money to the wrong person, but whatever. You know, yeah, I'm not gonna get. I'm gonna take that money back now. Then you twat. Apparently, I have less relations with them, which is weird. I have less relations with all of them. Ah, the gift wear off. Wore off, sorry. Not wear off, it wore off. <sighs> you fuckers are going to make my dream not a reality because I can't annex you. How long would it take to annex you? Like, three years. So, yeah, we need to get this fucking war wrapped up, lads. Give you gold. Can you do anything? You're going to build some fucking men. Smart idea. Hopefully, you'll build the men to beat him. We could increase your isolationism, but why would we do that? They built a unit. I didn't help that, did I? I made that worse. Apparently, yeah, they just don't have enough men to siege there, though, as far as I can tell. I think you need, like, 6,000 men to do that. And they're going to go attack them again. For fuck's sake. Yep, yeah, they're up to 14%. I'm, I, you know, I feel like I'm helping. I'm helping these idiots by accident. But hey, what can you do? 
Apart from have these two idiots fucking fighting. That would be much nicer if they were not. Oh, now you're building a ship, you dumb fuck. There we go. One. Two. China, Japan is mine. I was going to say China is mine. No, Japan is mine and all before uh, 1550. Oh, thank God. These assholes took way too long. Now, we can start investing into military quality ideas and getting the head of the Genji, uh, the Fenners of Imperial Court, uh, Hayaga Shiyama culture, uh, Tosen Bugo, Bugyo, uh, Bugyoshi and Hokoshi, the Bankfu Kokatsushi, and Reformer Shogun Shogu system. Although, Japan will be united by then, so it doesn't fucking matter. Which means we won't get any of them now that I realize, because you get new brand new traditions for forming Japan. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I formed a country. So, we will see. We will see. It has been an age, though. I don't even think we're going to be able to get any of these. Uh, no, I don't think any of I don't really care about any of them, really. I think the institution in True Faith provinces is probably the only useful one, because all my provinces are of my faith. So it kind of... Like, that kind of just goes hand in hand with me. Or mine. Uh, like, my country, but... Um... And for global trade, so it's definitely until 1600, so you never know. You're not... No, yeah, that will actually be very useful for me getting global trade. A uh, no, printer press, sorry. Which I'm gonna again have to invest in, in, like, in, like, grow the fuck out of my capital. Right, I can invent in, but I can invest in both of these bastards now, which would make me much happier. So yeah, May fifteen forty is the lowest, and I'm using two a month, so it's gonna go pretty slow. Now it's September thirty nine. And we're still gaining Diplo, just. So that makes my life a little bit easier. Um, which means it's definitely September of next year and we have integrated the last three. Which means that we can then unite Japan peacefully, gain 100 legitimacy, uh, 100 uh, admin and Diplo and military points. And feel good about ourselves because we'll... St Wait, do we still change to a feudal monarchy? Yeah, we do, so... The only difference is we don't have to let any of the, uh, the Japanese people become uh, pawns of um, Ming. Which is perfect. Yeren's back, but Yeren is under them this time. Administrative problems? Fuck you, game. Damn it, corruption. Can you just F off? Like, we would all prefer you to just not be here. So, can you not be here? But, what can you do, yeah? What can you do? How much levy could we raise? We could only load 5,000 extra men. We could only raise 5,000 extra men at the moment. There we go. Mon ferocracy. Uh, new idea set. Uh, integration is a slow process. And we also know these like, guys will go faster. So it's June of next year. Uh, but actually, no, sorry. August of next year. Um, I want to do another military, but at the same time, I don't have enough points for the military of the first one. I want to do exploration. You know what? I'm going to do exploration because of the fact that I... As much as I like Diplo, I'm going to get exploration instead. I think I'm going to get expansionism as well. Cheaper state maintenance. And you know what? We are. Because I'm going to colonize all the islands. And I'm going to do as, take as many islands as I can. So the col extra colonists will help. So it means I can start taking Taiwan. Over parts over here and whatnot. The clergy demand land. That is fine. They can have... There you go, clergy. Wow, that surprisingly shut them up. Did not expect that. Yeah, guys, just go away. Uh, army, do you got any cannons? You do not, then you can fuck off. Well, uh, that's uh, the Akamatsu gone. They, the, they were the bigger of the last, like, all of them as well. And there we go. Well... 
I mean, we kind of look good, but let's let's do this. Uh, the warring factions of Japan have finally been united under a strong banner, or a strong emperor. Cultural union granted due to the reaching government rank. We have now have a cultural union of Japanese culture. All Japanese culture will be accepted. Also, apparently we haven't unified our culture yet. But anyway, new traditions and ambitions. Our state is going through a range of changes and rapidly changing our identity and ideals. Unless we actively work against it, we will see the ambitions and traditions of our country change as all of this. Yes, please. We now have the Japanese ideas, which give us the unification under the, uh, under the Emperor. Reformed land holding, which, yeah. Modernization, fuck yes. Maritime legacy, yep. Land of the Rising Sun, even more better. Global settler, yes. Oh, fuck yeah, that was good. And we gain, oh yeah, everything about this, just yes. And we are now Niho, uh, Nihon. I think it's Niho or Nihon. Land of the Rising Sun, basically. So we're, we're, we're pretty fucking good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. How many men can I have so far? The Bushi demand. How much land do the Bushi need now? 15%. You know what, game? That is completely fine. Here you go. Ha, I can go to 12. 14. No, I have mean, my silk. I can tell you that right now. Oh, my copper. That ship's worth a lot. There we go. Uh, conquer Korea. Conquer Nakanawa. Any of those two is a bad idea unless we want China kicking my doors in. Actually, wait a minute. How big's Chinese Navy? 93 ships. 20 heavy. 20 of those ships being heavy. So, at the moment, and their army is 163. So, ha! Why? You're not even at war. What the fuck? Go away, ship. Uh, so we can currently have 46 ships. Right. It's time for shipyards, ladies and gentlemen. Shipyards everywhere. So, and shipyards, they're the cheap ones. They give me force limit, naval force limit plus two. Uh, traveling minstrel, allow them to go with heart contents. At this point, just we need navy. We need like to rise our navy and raise our navy everywhere. Because, well, I'm gonna. Co I think I'm gonna colonize immediately here. Yeah, colonize here immediately, and that gives me access to killing Brunei and then killing these guys, which means I'm then exp I can then, I can actually also expand to here. So I've got three people I can immediately kill to grow the Japanese Empire. And we did it before 1550, which makes me even more happier. Apparently, we're still called a Shogun, though. I mean, I'd rather just be called the Emperor now game, but I mean, well, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it, man? What are you going to do? Oh, Ming's in debt. Who'd have fucking thought? Right. Uh, na trade Navy, I'm sorry, but I don't need you. So... We're going to start building up big ships at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Because big ships may be expensive, but they are completely fucking necessary if we want to win this. Also, my... In oh, yeah, my inflation's gone up because I'm making gold. Shit. Um, we need to get some inflation deal to deal, well, we need to deal with the inflation, so... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is get one, two, and then three tech, so I get all these guys at once. I get the unification of the Emperor, which means that I can then start colonizing. I'm probably going to colonize... These two, maybe there and there. Probably those two. Just because I want an, I want to get this... Actually, you're a 7. You're a 13. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get a 7 and then 13. Uh, although we could get over here and start... Um, have like a province bordering them directly, which means I can land an army and not have to land it via sea before we war. But... Yeah, we'll, f we'll focus on this asshole first, Brunei. Brunei, are you completely annexable? You are not. You can have too many, too many men. That is true, game. You cannot. But now that we're in a period of peace, it shouldn't be too much. It shouldn't be too hard to uh, get to uh, killing everyone. A new urbanization with only a small portion of our population. Living in the cities, the growing prosperity of the merchant guilds, attracting increasing number of people from our countryside. 
Some cities are growing so quickly that existing problems in terms of sanitation and overcrowding have gone from troubling to catastrophic according to the merchant guilds. The poor have taken up residence outside the city walls where filthy suburbs have sprung up and disease thrives. The merchant guilds find the situation intolerable and now requesting that we that the state set up step in to provide help both in the terms of resources resources and enforcement of rules outside the walls. Only this way can we increasingly uh, the, this increasing urbanization actually lead to something good. Got a point, to be fair. They got a point. How much do Cossacks cost? 50 gold. So we'd need 250 to build 10 of them at once. Fair enough, I guess. So we still can't even have that many men with us at once, but still. Right. Uh, got exploration now. So we've got our first colonist. Um... So our native policy. I think I'm gonna go for native trading. Or now we'll go with native trading. Uh, re regional nobles challenge Japan. Local nobles are not satisfied with their granted privilege. They demand more rights and are willing to back it up with a rebellion against the shogun. Where are you gonna know Uzen? There, it's the north. I thought that was in the north. Hey, if you wish to challenge the mighty imperial armies of the uh, Shogun, or sorry, the Emperor, then uh, feel free to, because you're going to lose. They technically still lost. I'm not, not going to fucking argue this fact. They lost, technically. Oh, yeah, recoup our losses, but yeah, the Kyoto can have 44,000 man stylus. Everywhere else is a bit, bit fucking iffy on that map. But our first colony has been established. What's this? Enforce our heritage. Japan gets enforced on the heritage until 2nd of Japan 21. So our faith is the honored way, honored way of our ancestors. We cannot allow foreign faiths to encroach our nation. Of course. We definitely need to do that. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't that? Why is that not our culture immediately? They better not fucking change that. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to find it in the next part. If you guys have enjoyed, see you guys in the next part. See you guys then.